241 heads complete. I wanted to show everybody my math, uh, my bowls on my intake runners ended up at 89.15% of the valve size. Uh, exhaust bowl is one, I'm sorry, 85.8% of the uh, 155 exhaust valve. Um, I went ahead and just cleaned up the deck surface a little bit on these. I think he's uh, planning on having these things surfaced, which I always highly recommend because most all aluminum heads, uh, once they've been in service, even if the motor's never been overheated, they really need to be surfaced because for some reason they do not heat cycle well without causing a little bit of a irregular surface. So um, I went ahead and uh, went over them again, made sure everything felt good to the finger. The transitions from the, <clears throat> sorry, from the seats into the bowls look good. Uh, the textures are right where I want them to be. Um, uh, I, in my previous video, I did go ahead and CC these heads, which was very interesting to me. When you start looking at oh, that intake port, you don't really have to make the intake opening much bigger than factory to get good flow numbers. Your bread and butter <clears throat> is in your guide and uh, modifications to your port as far as eliminating that huge uh, rocker, rocker bolt bump, guide work, bowl blend. These heads come, or these, came with really nice uh, roll or transition on the short turn. So it only took minimal, minimal amount of work to just kind of smooth those up and just kind of perfect what came out of the casting, I guess you could call it. But uh, having these heads come out exactly where I wanted them to be for a 5.7 motor is awesome, which I already, you know, you wouldn't do this unless you kind of had an idea where you were headed. So I knew I was going to be in the ballpark. I thought I may have been over just a hair. And turns out they came out perfect. Um, on those, uh, removing that rocker star, rock, rocker arm, rocker bump, whatever the hell they call it. I chose to go conservative and only remove it until it just started to poke through. Uh, I don't know if everybody does that or not, but what I did, oh, you can't see it the way I got it. There we go. Uh, basically, I removed the rocker bump because I'm using my line of sight theory, and you can see, I mean, I have just cleaned that up, you know, crazy, no restriction at all. And there's one port on both heads that it didn't even poke a hole through to the uh, rocker bolt hole. All the rest of them have little tiny, I mean tiny, I wish I could get one for you. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Mm. I think I got too much dust flying around in here. But all but, uh, all of them, but one on each head just slightly poke through to that hole do the rocker arm bolt. Other than that, they're good to go. Wes is gonna come get them on Saturday. I can't wait to uh, see how excited he is when he gets that thing back running with the new heads and cam. Um, it's gonna run like a banshee, I know it is. Uh, but then again, paying close attention to your math and getting everything done properly is important so anyway that's the 241 heads done and ready to go um, like i said he'll be here on saturday and he'll be ready to start putting this thing together for spring thank you